internet friends, welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, internet friends, Magic Brad here, Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. And I've got another interview. This is actually the third one I've done today. I've got one more to do. And uh, his name is and is it Anmol? Anmol Singh. Anmol. Anmol Singh. Perfect. I, I pronounced it proper, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> so are you over in New York? Is that what you said? That's correct. I moved to New York just uh, about six months ago. You like it? Yeah, it's pretty good. Getting used to the weather. We'll find out the winners. You know, not looking forward to the winter, but apart from that, everything else is uh, rock solid. Well, it's already midway past November, and we're in Minnesota, and we haven't had any snow yet. It's kind of weird. It's supposed to snow today, but... Yeah, global warming. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. <laughs> so I don't know if you've seen some of these interviews, but I keep them kind of tight, and we just get to, into who are you, what do you do, where do you do it, and all that. So the first question is, who are you? You married, you got kids, you got pets, you got no, uh, what, 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 what do you do? Right, so uh, you know, I'm not married, I have no kids, I'm single, and what I do is, you know, I am an entrepreneur, uh, but initially more involved with the financial markets. That's how I started, and that's how I, you know, I guess I made my money is through trading the stock market and the forex markets. And what I did later on is I used that money that I generate from my trading and then start parking it in other investments such as you know real estate or putting my money in buying a franchise. And that's what I do at the moment is just you know different franchise businesses, real estate, uh, trading. And then apart from that, I uh, manage a company where we train, teach, and also fund other you know people looking to get involved as, and start their career as a trader. So we teach them, we fund them, and we provide them different services. Yeah, I was just talking with a friend of mine. Him and I are we're, we're from a different mindset than your normal nine to five person because they're more consumers. Mm -hmm. They make money, then they go spend it, and we're talking right. about reinvesting it. Money is just a, a tool, and so he talks. Like you, it sounds like you make some money and then you reinvest it in other things. And... Exactly. I mean uh, that... that Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on one second. Sorry about that. That's okay. It's all good. We do these things uh, like in real life. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it might have been a call from. All right, sorry about that. I just you know Dad. forgot to do my phone. Oh. But anyways, so um, yeah, so where were we? Uh, we were talking about you know different mindset of you know reinvesting our money, and that's something I live by because I don't want to rely on just one source of income. I don't want to rely on you know just one aspect of life. I want to if I'm getting money from somewhere else, and if I just park it in a bank account, that money is going to get bored. Right, just sitting there. So I like to always park it in different things. So now I'm not only relying on my trading because you know some days are not good, right? Exactly. You got what they got diversification is what they call it. Exactly. Plus you get bored, you know, if you're putting all your money into one place and you get bored, you got to shift gears a little bit, especially being an entrepreneur. Right. Exactly. I mean, you definitely have to have you know various uh, I guess interests and skill sets. And it's always great to have money coming in from different sources, so you're you're not reliant on that one industry, you know, going up or down, right? If you were investing only in retail, commercial, you know, real estate buildings, those haven't been doing that well recently. Residential have been. So it's important to have you know your money parked in different places and let the growth in the economy make you money rather than relying on just one sector. How about invest? This is a little side topic. Maybe we even talk about it on a different show, but. How about investing in more like um, resort properties, uh, not timeshares, but uh, vacation type areas, uh, not not resorts like like the big Holiday Inns or the big Hiltons or anything like that, but just um, like wellness centers in exotic tropical places like Costa Rica, Tulum, and Bali. What about investing um, in those places? Yeah, I'm, I'm you know I'm a fan of those, but it all comes down to you know getting the right location mm -hmm. um, because location is the most important factor in you know uh, resort type properties because you could have the world's best resort but if the location is not right you know things are not going to pan out so i much prefer you know residential i much prefer multifamily apartment buildings you know single family homes or multifamily homes that's where i think the that's the kind of industry that's recession proof it's not reliant on travel or anything like that that's reliant more on people and people are always going to need housing yep right 
So it's well easy hierarchy. for a tenant to leave and a new one to come in, but it's not as easy to continue to sell that resort because that's something ongoing. Because once you get a tenant in an apartment, he's going to pay you for you know, until he's going to be there. Yeah, as far as the diverse, I'm uh, invested in REITs. So I got the commercial, residential, and apartment complexes and storage lockers and shopping centers and okay. I, I keep it across nice. the board. So here's another question, sort of uh, more about uh, you personally and such. Are you a, like a morning guy or an evening guy? Do you, you get all your work done in the morning and then go out and play? Or are you uh, sleep in and then get it all done at midnight? Right. I mean, I am a 24-7 guy, <laughs> you know, because I have to trade the stock market. So I have to oh. wake up in the morning naturally, right? Uh, when I was not trading stocks, you know, I'd probably be more of a night guy, you know, chill out in the mornings and then work during the nighttime. But since I've been trading for about six years, I have to wake up, you know, because market's going to open 930 with or without me, right? So I get up 830 every day. It's a fixed alarm. 830, I wake up. I prepare what I want to trade, you know, create the whole scenario for the market open. Markets open at 9.30. I finish my trading usually by 11, 11.30 in the morning. I only trade the first couple hours. And then after that, I use my time, as I said, into other projects. And then do you, do you teach other people to do this or you kind of just do it all in your own deal or do you help, do you put together teams or anything like that? Or look, cause This guy that I'm working with, we're having a, a a challenge getting your nine to five or to understand that there's another way. Right. You know? So, I mean, I, I, I teach people, you know, how to trade as well. We teach them, we fund them. And then the biggest part of about, I guess my, you know, services are that we have a service where people can actually watch me trade live. So they'll have oh, cool. my screens going to be up there throughout the day. My audio is going to be on throughout the day and people can get to see me actually put on my trading live in front of them, be it win or lose. Right. Today I was trading live in front of 100 people. 100 people subscribers were watching me trade live. And I lost money today. Okay, I lost <laughs> money today. It happens. Yesterday I made money. So these things are going to happen. And I think people really love that because now they can actually see somebody trade. Yeah. And, so, and that's how they learn as well. I, I talk them through everything. I said, hey, guys, I'm down today. I don't see any opportunity. I don't think today's my day. I'm just going to leave for the day. I'm going to come back in tomorrow. Today is not my day. And people really like to see you know, me win and lose. So I think it's a good uh, service for them. Is that what you got, like a, a camera, Amnol TV, and they, they sit and watch you do stuff, and they pay a subscription, like a pay-per-view or something? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they pay like a monthly membership. Oh, really? So it's a, yeah, and, cool. and it's a chat room. So it's a chat room where all the members are there. Everybody's throwing ideas. Hey, what do you think about Microsoft? Hey, it looks like Facebook's going to go up. You know, everybody's chatting. It's a really nice community feel, and we generate ideas together. And then we, you know, trade. And then I say, okay, I'm going to be trading this stock right here. And I'm walking them through. I'm still in. All right, I'm, I'm going to get out here. And I'm kind of walking them step by step as they can see it on the screen as well happening in real time. Wow, that, that's, that sounds kind of cool. It's almost like a gallery type vibe. Yeah. Get up in the bleachers and watch the guy lose his money. <laughs> <laughs> or win. You never know. Yeah. So again, I, do, I try not to do these too long because people do have busy days and such. And this is uh, this initial uh, interview is just to get to know who you are and where you know you're from New York and all that. So we know that you're not some 15 year old from Sri Lanka screwing around on the internet. <laughs> and uh, the question I like to ask is the big why question. Why is it are you doing this? And why aren't you like a ski instructor? Or why didn't you open up a place selling hats on the beach or something? Why are you doing this? I mean, I would be love to be a ski instructor. I would just love to have a skill like that, but I'm just not good at it, okay. you know. <laughs> so that, that could, that's definitely ruled out. And this is something I actually kind of just fell into. It wasn't my passion always. I never dreamt of becoming a trader. I never did. It's just while I was in my university, I studied in London for about, lived there for five years. And when I studied there, you know, everybody was looking for career investment banking or something to do with that. Everybody's applying to JP Morgan, you know, they're applying to big banks. And I was like, why is everybody looking there? And I realized, obviously, there's a lot of money involved, right? There's a potential to make money. And that's when I started really just researching, reading books, buying courses, and really just diving into it. I was so curious about the markets. And then, you know, got a call one day from Yahoo Finance saying, hey, you know, we reading your blog, you seem like you're a good writer. Can you write articles for us about, you know, different research about stocks? And that's how I initially started. Just they used to pay me per article, 150 bucks or an article, just to write an article for them. I did that all through my college and I used to write like 10 articles a month, right? I used to make 1500 just doing that. And then I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm actually good at my research. Maybe I should put my own money into, you know, my research. And that's how I started initially just trading. And then turns out, 
I stopped writing and now I just trade my ideas. See, it's pretty cool hearing this because this guy I'm working with, his name is Ron, Ron Orr, and he's just, I call him the Oracle because he's, he sees numbers, he can just scan stuff, he's kind of bizarre that way, but we were talking about exactly that, how pe people that are in advertising and you see them, well, we just got done uh, taking their investment and we, you know, made it 10 times. Right. You're thinking, why are you working for this person? Why don't you do it yourself? So that's yeah. what you did. You said, uh, why should I be writing about this? Why don't I just trade myself? Exactly. Yeah. Cool. I like it. Okay, well, I'm going to sign this one off. And if you want, we can sit back and chat a little bit. But I'm going to put this one in the can, as they say. So I appreciate you taking the time and uh, sharing your Perfect. knowledge and wisdom with us. And this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks, Brad.